And with me today I have ESA astronaut Andreas Mogensen and Dr. Nigel Savage who is working in the ESA corporate education program. Uh, follow the presentations of Andreas and, and Nigel. We will have uh, an opportunity for questions and answers. The presentations will be in English because we have international press and I have, inter and I have English speaking colleagues with me. Uh, my name is Andreas Mogensen and I'm an astronaut with the European Space Agency. I was selected in uh, 2009 together with five other European astronauts. This was the first uh, selection of the European Space Agency of, uh, for new astronauts since 1992. Um, and since 2009 I've been uh, busy training. Um, first uh, in what's called basic training and then later in uh, pre-assignment training and then since last August when I was assigned to my first mission I've been uh, busy 100% of my time with um, preparations for my first mission ever to the uh, International Space Station. Uh, the launch is uh, less than a year away now. It's uh, on the 1st of September 2015. Uh, so I'm at the moment very busy with training. Uh, I just came from uh, Star City in Russia and we'll be going back there on Sunday for, for more Soyuz training. And 2015 next year is really going to be uh, an exciting time on board the International Space Station. Two astronauts, uh, a NASA astronaut and a Russian cosmonaut, will uh, each spend a whole year on board the space station. The longer you spend in space, uh, there's also some other uh, effects on the eye. The vision can change, your immune system can, uh, can change. And so what we're trying to understand is how we can counteract some of these uh, effects in a different manner than the, than the longer traditional six-month missions. Um, the ISS has been permanently uh, manned since November 2000. Uh, a real space mission, this time it's underwater, uh, about 20 meters underwater off the coast of Florida in the Aquarius habitat. ...and a technological progress, in fact, the one is dependent on the other, and mm -hmm. they are trying to mobilize their youth. Yeah. 